Uh, what does it mean for Surrey to have an Olympic race in the county? Well, it's fantastic to have uh, the two cycle races, the men's and the women's, plus the time trials. Now the torch uh, relay, uh, last stop in Surrey. Fantastic, exciting. And does it give the county a boost to have Sebco coming down and visiting? Oh, absolutely. It's very important uh, that uh, you know Sebco, who's been the architect, I think, of uh, our Olympic bid, here today, seeing the uh, the young people from the schools, seeing the uh, young cyclists of the uh, the junior GB team, plus uh, leisure cyclists as well here today. It's been a, a terrific boost and will be a terrific boost for Surrey come uh, August the 12th when the test event comes through. Uh, Box Hill was just a part of it. We needed to also work very closely with the boroughs and the districts and Surrey County Council have been fantastically helpful. Uh, and this is going to be a great event. It's going to showcase the beauty of this county, which I know because I live here. Uh, and it will also, I think, afford a great opportunity for local people to uh, be a part of the Games on their own doorstep. It'll give an opportunity for Londoners to come out that may not actually know how beautiful this area is. And you've got overseas tourists as well, so I think this is a great opportunity. It's a challenging course. I mean, no, I don't think anybody is any doubt in any doubt that this is probably one of the most challenging courses that Olympic cyclists will have been confronted with. But it does take us past some great landmarks. It gives people locally an opportunity to be a part of the Games. And it also is, it showcases a lovely part of the world. And obviously we're in the middle of waiting to see if we've all won Olympic tickets. Everyone's checking their bank Me balances. too, me too. <laughs> but um, this is a free event, so one of the, one of the few yeah. free events. So it's yeah, there are. It, it, again, it's a good point that um, you know this is a free event. Uh, clearly, there's a lot of management in terms of crowds. And, we, and we've got other free events as well. We've got triathlons, we've got marathons, we've got race walks. So it's a great, uh, it's a great chance to, to see the Games. Get out there, watch it, be involved, get out there, become a volunteer as a marshal. Um, young people go forward, there's torchbearers uh, and volunteer for that. So there's a great opportunity, plus it's a huge boost for the local economy. Uh, from ice cream sellers to hotels and restaurants, uh, plus on top of that the news we've had recently of the large amount of contracts that have been won by Surrey businesses. And then on top of that we've got the legacy, we have the cultural legacy between our schools, schools across the world, of those teams that have visited Surrey in the last year and a half.